Hello everyone. In this video, we will be checking for extraneous solution. Extraneous solution is not a valid solution, which means that when we do the math, when we do algebraic method, it seems like it worked, but when we check, it does not really work. So that is what we call as extraneous solution. Now let's take this first example right here. Solve for x, determine and label the extraneous solution. In order that we can solve for this, the first step is to isolate the squared expression in one side of the equation, and then once it's isolated, square both sides, then make one side equal to zero and solve. So in this problem that we have here, we are, so I'm just gonna rewrite this, that is um, square root of x plus six equals x. This squared expression is already isolated by itself, so we're good. So we're supposed to square both sides. So the um, so that we can undo the square root, we're supposed to square both sides. When we square one side, we square the other side as well. So from here, we can go ahead and cross out the squared and the square root. So we are left with x plus six equals x squared. So then we go ahead and make sure that one side of the equation is equal to zero, so we can use the zero product property. So then we go ahead and um, subtract x from both sides minus x, so we're making this side equal to zero, and then we're gonna subtract six from both sides minus six. Again, the purpose for that is we wanna make sure that one side is equal to zero. So then from here, we can cross this two out, so we're left with zero equals x squared minus x minus six. So then from here, we go ahead and use the uh, box and diamond method for this so that we can factor this out. So I'm gonna show the work up here. So we have, uh, we're going to use the uh, diamond first. So that is the first and the last term. So that is negative six x squared. The middle term will, will go to the bottom. That is a negative x. So the factors that we have for this would be um, negative 3x and um, 2x. So that if we multiply these two, that's a negative 6x squared. If we add these two, negative 3x plus 2x is a negative x. So then we're ready to um, put this into the um, box. So then we go ahead and write the first term that is x squared. This is negative six. Then we write the um, red factors that we got from the diamond. That is negative three x. You can put it anywhere um, in, in this uh, two boxes right here. So that's two x. So then we can go ahead and say that um, the factors would be, uh, we have x minus three and then x plus two. So then these two are the factors of this expression that we have right here. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as um, x plus two and x minus three. So then that is equal to zero. So then we're going to use the zero product proper to solve for um, x. So then we go ahead and write x plus two equals zero. And then the x minus three is also equal to zero. So then from here, we go ahead and subtract two from both sides, minus two. So then we are left with x is equal to negative two. So this is our uh, first solution. Now we move on to the other one right here. So we plus three from both sides, we add three here. So then we are left with x is equal to three, and this is our second solution. Now our task is to determine which of these two solutions that we have here, negative two or three is the extraneous. So then we go ahead and move on to the second step, which is to check your answer and determine which one is the extraneous solution. So it is very important that we check our answer because again, sometimes um, it appears to be, it appears that algebraically it worked. So that means that it, um, we're able to come up with the values for x, but when we check them, one of them might be an extraneous. That's why it is very important that we always check. So we are going to use the original equation in order that we can check our work. So we're going to use this um, equation right there. So we're gonna check this. So first we will um, let so we will check this one first, which is x is equal to negative two. So we let x is equal to negative two. So then I am going to rewrite the equation right here. That is um, square root of 
x plus 6 is equal to x. Again, when we check, there's a trick to this. The trick is to always change the variable into a parentheses before we plug in values. So then from here, I can go ahead and rewrite this as the square root of parentheses plus 6. Is that equal to, then I put in the uh, x into a parentheses. And the one that we put into the parentheses would be the uh, first one that we saw, which is x equals negative 2. So I'll put negative 2 here and then negative 2 here. So then we can go ahead and simplify this. That's the square root of negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Is that equal to negative 2? So then square root of 4 is 2. Is that equal to negative 2? it is not equal to negative two. So then we go ahead and say that this is our extraneous solution. Again, this is extraneous because it doesn't work. They're not equal when we checked it. Now let's see if the other one is an extraneous as well or is it really the solution to this? So then we go ahead and uh, we let x is equal to, equal to three. So then we uh, use the original equation again. So we have the square root of x plus 6 is equal to x. Again, the trick when we um, check our answer is to change the variable into a parenthesis before we plug in values. So then this would come out square root of parenthesis plus 6 is equal to parenthesis. And the one that we put into the parenthesis would be the uh, numbers that we have here, 3 and 3. So then we go ahead and simplify this. That's the square root of 3 plus 6 is 9. Is that equal to 3? So square root of 9 is 3, and that is equal to 3, which means that this is our solution. So this is the extraneous, and this is the uh, real solution, or the actual solution that would work for this equation right here. On the side, you will see the graphical method of solving this equation that we have here, where I use the equal values method backwards. What I did was I set this left side equal to y, and that's the first equation. And the second equation would be this right side is equal to y, that's the second equation. And we can see that there's only one solution, which is x is equal to 3, which means that this x is equal to negative 2 is an extraneous solution. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the... Um, problem here. Again, the first step is to isolate the squared expression on one side of the equation. Then once it's isolated, square both sides, then make one side equal to zero and solve. So in this problem that we have here, this squared expression, squared of x plus 2, is not by itself on one side because we have a negative 1 and we have a 3 in front of the square root. So what are we going to do is we clear this out first before we solve for x. So then we go ahead and add 1. 1 to both sides plus 1. So then we are left with, you can cross this out, 3 square root of x plus 2 equals 3x. And then this gets crossed out as well. So then we go ahead and clear the 3 out by dividing both sides by um, 3. So I'm going to divide this by 3, divide this by 3. We can cross this out. So then from here, we already have isolated the square root of x plus 2 is equal to, this will just be x. So then we already have isolated the squared expression by itself on one side. So then we go ahead and square both sides so that we can get rid of the uh, square root. So when we square one side, we also square the other side. So then we can cross the uh, squared and square root out. So then we are left with x plus 2. 2 equals x squared. So that we can use the zero product property to solve for x, we are supposed to make one side equal to zero. So then I can go ahead and subtract x from both sides, minus x, and then minus 2 and minus 2. So then we go ahead and cross this 2 out. We're left with 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. So then from here, we go ahead and use the uh, box and diamond so that we can factor this out.
So I'm just gonna uh, write it down here. So that is x plus one, x plus one, and then x minus two. So then we use the zero product property to solve for x, and that is equal to zero. So then we go ahead and say x plus one equals zero, and x minus two equals zero. So then we go ahead and subtract one from both sides, minus one, so we can cross this out. We're left with x is equal to negative one, and this is our uh, first solution. And then the second solution would be we add two to both sides, plus two, so then we are left with, with x is equal to two, and this is our second solution. Now we move on to the second step. We are supposed to check our answer to determine which one is the extraneous. So I am going to show the, um, the check uh, part right here. So we're going to use the original equation in order that we can um, check our work. So then we go ahead and let x is equal to um, negative one. So then we, so we're gonna rewrite this. That would be three square root of x plus two minus one equals three x minus one. So then we go ahead and use the trick in checking, change the variable into a parenthesis before you plug in values. So that would be Two is um, equal is not equal to negative four. It is not equal, which means that negative one is the extraneous solution. So I'm just gonna label this as the extraneous solution. This is the extraneous because it didn't work when we checked it. Now let's move on to the other solution, which is we let x is equal to two. So then we are going to again use this, but this time around we are supposed to use the trick, change the variable into parentheses before we plug in values. So then I will rewrite this So then five is equal to five, which means that this is our solution. So the other one was actually the extraneous and two is actually the solution to this um, equation that we have right there. On the side, you will see the graphical method of solving this equation that we have right here, where I used the equal values method backwards. So what I did was I um, make this left side equal to y, and the second equation is this right side is equal to y. We can see that we there's only one solution to this equation that we have right here, which is x is equal to two. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.